Welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Golden. Thank you so much for being with us today. I have the pleasure of being uh, joined today by Chad Doan. And Chad serves as our Director of Strategic Energy Initiatives. Chad, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Well, I understand that we've just recently met our energy goal for the main campus. And maybe you could tell our audience a little bit about what that goal was and, uh, and how much energy we've actually saved. Well, uh, in 2010, we undertook an initiative to try to reduce our consumption by 25%. And we did meet that goal by 2015. And in round numbers, that is about 600 billion BTUs. 600 billion BTUs, that's a really big number. But from a very practical level, uh, what does that mean to us? Does it mean we save dollars? Does it mean we're greening the environment? Does it reduce our carbon footprint? And more importantly, how can we save that and, and reinvest that in the future? Uh, it means all those things, Dr. Gold. Uh, we, in, in numbers, in our utility bills, both natural gas and uh, electric, we saved over $10 million. So that's money we can reinvest in the campus and, and put to other initiatives and mm -hmm. also hopefully carry on and continue to save energy into the future. Uh, we did reduce our carbon footprint by burning, uh, forcing OPPD to burn less coal to give us our electricity and we burn less natural gas to provide our heat. So in all those ways, uh, the campus had a profound effect on uh, our environment locally and um, I think we set a good example. That's really impressive statistics. It must take a team, it must take a village of people to make that kind of change. Maybe you could talk about how broadly and deeply in the organization that change occurred. That's absolutely true. Uh, it really takes everyone on campus down to the last end user. Uh, if, if you can close your blinds uh, and not allow that hot sun to beat in in the summer and heat up your office, that's a savings and when we have hundreds and thousands of people doing those kinds of things, turning off lights, uh, everyone on campus helps us with our energy goal. We can lead it from the energy team and from the utility plant but if no one follows then we aren't very successful so it really does take a whole campus effort in different ways. You know I've noticed that as I've uh, walked around the campus uh, and see people doing exactly those things. I wonder if that also doesn't equally increase their awareness for their homes in t and have an impact on their home energy utilization as well, just to reset that thermostat slightly differently in the summer and the winter, to think about that extra sweater that they may want to uh, wear around the house uh, in the winter or, or some other insulation that would be, uh, just create that efficiency. All those are great initiatives and, and yes, we hope it does carry through the home. And our energy savings does equate to almost 20,000 homes. So to put it in context, we've saved the energy that Columbus, Nebraska uses in a year over that wow. five year period. That's impressive and that's without people making changes in their own homes and outside of the, of the university. So it's a, it's a cultural shift. So what's next? Uh, what's the plan for the future? Well, uh, the, the continued goal is to reduce by another 10 percent uh, before 2023. And uh, we're bringing a lot of new facilities uh, online in that same time frame, but we're still going to be aggressive about uh, saving energy throughout campus. Well, congratulations on achieving the goal, and please send my very best wishes and deep gratitude to all of those that have worked so hard on your team, but to all of you who are part of the Med Center community, thank you for making this happen. And of course, thanks so much for being with us on this segment of Under the Microscope. <laughs>